everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this session, I am going to explain what is impulse generator. Let us have a brief discussion on impulse generator. So it is an electrical apparatus. Impulse generator is an electrical apparatus. Which produces which produces very short very short high voltage high voltage or high current surges or high current surges i mean it is possible to generate impulse waveform with the help of impulse generator it may be in the form of high voltage or it may be in the form of high current with, which is having very short duration that means impulse voltage is having very short duration okay why impulse generator is required next question is why do you require impulse generator that means to test to test the strength of electrical the strength of strength of electrical power equipment electrical power equipment against 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 lightning and switching surges I mean, we have substation equipments, we have distribution transformers, all the type of equipments require insulators, definite amount of insulation is required, those equipments. So, during lightning and thundering, bulk amount of impulse voltage will be generated. Moreover, during switch gear operation, like a circuit breaker, isolators, bulk amount of impulse waveform will be generated. At that time, you have to verify whether your whether your equipments can serve those impulse waveform against those impulse waveform i mean whether the insulation level is proper or not if the insulation level is not proper what will happen your equipments is getting spoiled so you need to verify uh, whether the power equipments electrical equipments can serve against during lightning and thundering at that time a bulk amount of impulse waveform will be generated so we have to verify okay mainly for testing purpose all right i hope you understood Basically, there are two types of impulse generator. Impulse generator will be divided into two. Impulse generator. So, if you want to produce impulse voltage, you can go for, you can go ahead with the impulse voltage generator. Impulse voltage generator. If your requirement is to produce uh, impulse current, impulse current surges, then you need to go for impulse current generator. Impulse current generator. Alright. You can divide impulse voltage generator again. Like uh, single stage impulse generator and multi stage impulse generator. That I will be discussing in the next session. Alright. So this is the requirement. Why impulse generator is required. And what is the purpose. What is the purpose. And how do you classify impulse generator. Now let us see. The basic circuit diagram of impulse generator. Basic circuit diagram. Consider basic circuit diagram of impulse generator. First of all, we have the input capacitor CS. Then RE and RD. Those resistors are called wave shaping resistors. RD, RE. Those resistors are wave shaping resistors then we have sphere gap arrangement that means G stand for sphere gap sphere gap it will act as a switch typically sphere gap will be acting as a switch then we are having input capacitor CS and output capacitor CD alright this is the basic circuit diagram of impulse generator now let us see how does it operate, operation. You know, 
Impulse energy is mainly working based on charging and discharging action of capacitor. That means mainly the charging and discharging action of capacitor CS. First of all, you need to apply input voltage of VS. VS will be applied. VS will be, VS is actually given to input side. Alright. Whenever VS is actually reaching to peak value, what is going to happen? Uh, the sphere gap. Sphere gap is getting conductive. That means then sphere gap is getting operated. Sphere gap is getting operated. Alright. Once the sphere gap is getting operated, uh, the charge which is stored in the capacitor that is discharging through this element. The charge which is stored in the capacitor that is getting discharged to the output circuit. So the entire energy that is getting entire voltage, entire voltage that is actually obtaining across this point. You will be getting the impulse voltage across the capacitor CB. Alright. That means charging and discharging action. Okay. Uh, if you go for single stage or multi stage impulse generator, what will happen is the capacitor, the charging action will be taken place serially and discharging action will be taken place parallelly. That is actually happening in case of impulse generator. Same thing will be happening here. This is only a basic diagram. That is why I am explaining in this manner. So you will be getting the total impulse voltage across the capacitor CB. Okay, that voltage you can calculate by using the equation uh, V0 of T that is equal to V0 V0 divided by CB into RD e to the power minus alpha t minus e to the power minus beta t where alpha and beta both are constant so alpha can be calculated by using equation alpha equal to 1 by rd into cb 1 by rd into cb that means 1 by rd into uh, cb that is actually uh, the value of alpha then if you look at the value of beta beta can be calculated by using 1 by rb multiplied by cz cz is the equivalent value of capacitance in the impulse generator so if you calculate those value you can substitute and you will be getting the total value of output voltage that is across capacitor cb so this is the way how you can write the output equation okay I hope you understood the basic working principle of inverse generator. Mainly charging and discharging action of this capacitor. Then the sphere gap that will act as a switch. RE and RD that will be acting as uh, wave shaping resistors. I mean you can adjust the value of wave front and wave tail by designing RE and RD accordingly. Then you are going to get the output voltage across capacitor CB. Uh, so that you can calculate the output voltage uh, by using the given equation. Uh, then these are the constant alpha and beta uh, those uh, those are the constant that you can calculate by using the value of uh, resistors and uh, capacitors okay in the in the next session i'll be explaining the classification of impulse voltage generator how do you classify impulse voltage generator that i'm going to explain individually working also i'll be explaining in brief okay thanks for watching this video please share and don't forget to subscribe